Hey guys, Theme Park Kids here with Sarah and Daniel, and today we present our top 10 rides at Cedar Point. We started off with number 10, Iron Dragon, and uh, Daniel didn't get to go on this one. He was going on something else. I'm not sure which one, but so I'm going to explain it. Um, we decided to agree on this top 10, except for maybe one or two numbers you'll see later in the video, and yeah. So, um, number 10 is Iron Dragon. It's a family steel suspended coaster. Um, it's a little bit more aggressive than I would previously think, because when you're looking at it, it's like a beautiful little ride over the water. And once you're on the ride, it swings you, drops you a little bit. There's not many crazy hills or drops or any real like crazy turns, but it's a fun ride. It's a family ride, great. On number nine, we have Gemini, and this actually is a wooden coaster, but it has steel tracks with wood supports, and it's not really that crazy, but it's still really fun, and your kids would like it, and yeah. Yeah, Gemini is great. It's a racing ride, so there's a red side and a blue side, and I think we went on the blue red. Yeah, we went on blue. We did? No, red, red. We red. went on red, right. So we had an interesting experience um, when we went on Gemini. There are these two people in the front, one in one person in front um, on the blue, one person on the front on the red, and they were wearing the guy in the red was wearing a red morph suit, and the guy on the blue was wearing a blue morph suit. And the whole time they were like competing with each other to see who would win. And um, usually it ends in a tie. That's how ours ended. Um, but it was pretty funny because they were like so competitive with each other. So that's number nine, Gemini. So number eight on our countdown is Ruru. And this used to be Mantis, a stand-up poster, but in 2015 they changed it to a B&M Floorless. And I think that's a very good decision. Yeah. Well, it only has like, I think three inversions, right? Or four? I don't know, three or four, something yeah. like that. And it's okay. I mean, it's not the best uh, ride, but yeah. It's pretty good, I mean. Yeah. It's all right. Um, I like how it has a drop at the beginning. Usually it's not, usually BNM floorlesses or floorlesses in general um, don't have drops at the beginning. It's mostly about inversions. I like how this one has a drop. So that's a good part of Brutaloo. At number seven, we have Magnum XL 200, which is the first hyper coaster that came out in the world. And it's an aerodynamics steel coaster and it's a little bit bumpy um but it's still okay and yeah mm -hmm. um it's pretty good. another unpopular opinion that we have we actually like magnum a lot of people dislike it completely would never go on it at all uh we liked it we think a lot of bumpy coasters kind of like when the bumpiness adds to the fun so that's what it's like on magnum the tunnels are really fun and um there's like a big drop in one of the tunnels. I think it's the last tunnel, right? Yeah. Um, it's a bit unexpected. It's really fun. We also had an in interesting experience on the first time on uh, Magnum. And a guy, he was holding his water bottle, drinking water on the ride. And the water bottle flew out <laughs> on the ride um, into Challenge Park, I believe, which is their, like, with their intense, crazy rides, like go-karts. Um, I know they have, like, this, I don't know. It's like a thing where you flip them, sit down. But anyway, um, so that was pretty funny to see. Yeah. And so number seven is Magnum XL 200. Number six is Raptor, and I actually did not get a chance to ride this ride. I was with my friend, and she didn't want to go on it, so I was waiting with her. But um, hopefully if we go again, I'll be able to ride it. So Daniel will tell you about this one. Well, I went on this, and it was really, really fun. It's my favorite B&M invert. And compared to Montu at Busch Gardens, uh, Tampa, I went on that one. Mm -hmm. Um, I like this one better because the drop is more steep and I like the inversions. Just my least favorite part is the cover roll. It's a little bumpy, it's a little bad, and it's it's pretty good. I mean, it's not the best ride, but it's, it's a really good ride, so I recommend it. So another ride that I didn't get to go on, number five is Wicked Twister, and I wish I was able to. Um, I decided against it because I was feeling a little bit dizzy, uh, had a little headache, and I didn't really want to add to that headache, so Daniel. 
Well, it's uh, Intamin Invert, and it's pretty. It's really good. I like the twisties at the top, and I like the backwards part, and the launch is really fun too. Uh, it's a little bumpy, so just keep your head back, and uh, it'll be fun. fun. So number five is Wicked Twister. And number four, I actually, well, we just, this is the one that we disagreed on. Well, Sarah thought number four would be Gatekeeper, but, uh, and she thought number three would be Maverick. I disagree because I think Gatekeeper should be three and Maverick should be four. Um, they're both really, really good rides and they're really good. I like them. I like Maverick, the 95 degree drop in the beginning. And I like Gatekeeper because all the, the six inversions and all the drops and stuff. So, yeah. I so. just prefer Maverick because um, I like launches more than Lip Tills, uh, as do some people, um, I guess. That's the one way to put it. Um, Maverick has two launches. The first one isn't as much of a launch. It's just like a fast lift hill. But the second one's in the second one in the launch tube, in that tunnel. It's so fun. I love um, like high speed rides where you're like twisted and turn and you go upside down a couple times. Um, Daniel likes Gatekeeper better, but it's just an opinion. No reason to get upset. Number three, um, other one we disagreed on. Gatekeeper, Maverick, I said gate, um, Daniel said Gatekeeper, I said Maverick. We already kind of explained those rides, so let's move on to number two. So number two on our countdown, Millennium Force. Daniel? I love this ride. It was my first Giga Coaster. It's so fast, and I love the overbank curves. I like the hills. I like everything about it. Everything about it is amazing. This ride is the best. Yeah, I love it. Um, it was the first ride we ever rode in Cedar Point, and it was a great way to start the day, get us all pumped up for the rest of the rides. Um, it was just amazing. There's no really other way to explain it. It's a Intamin Giga. Um, came out in 2000. It was the tallest coaster in the world when it came out, and it is constantly voted either the best or second best uh, steel coaster in the world since it debuted in 2000. It's a really good ride. I I recommend it a lot, a lot, and you should really ride it. So number two is Millennium Force. Moving on to number one. And number one, the one you've all been waiting for, pun not intended. I bet you guessed it. Witch's Wheel! This ride is the best flat ride ever. I headaches all the time, but the headaches are so fun. Just kidding. <laughs> the real number one is Top Thrill Dragster. Of course. This ride is so fun, so fast. It's only 17 seconds, 420 feet high, 120 miles per hour. It's the shortest, but the best ride I've ever been on. Definitely one of the, definitely the best, my favorite coaster ever, my favorite ride of all time, and I've been on quite a few coasters and rides. Uh, I just love it. Everything is so amazing. Uh, the launch is my favorite part. <laughs> Daniel, what's your favorite part? My favorite part is the, probably the drop when you get to the top and then the drop. Yeah, I like the drop too, but um, the scariest part, if you're too scared to go on top of the little dragster, Please just like go with somebody who will push you on the ride. It's great. I was so scared on the line. Um, Daniel was even scared when he got to the, the lights where it flashes. Um, it's a great ride. The scariest part, honestly, is waiting for the lights to flash. The rest of the ride is kind of like goes goes away in a blur. But the when you're waiting for the lights and you hear the brakes and you move backwards, that's the scariest part. <laughs> I get scared at that part, like my second or third time, even. Yeah. yeah. So number one, Top Girl Dragster. Hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share. And stay tuned for our next video. Bye. Bye.